This video relates to Chris Lane's video. Uh, he's talking about jaded expats. What you what you find is this. I call them bums because um, they're always bumming cash off other people. Um, they are just parasites. Just ignore them, don't help them, etc. Because they'll be there all the time and I'll have a different sob story for next week. There's um, Around the malls in Cebu, there's a few people that will actually come and harass expats. And they'll have the same sob story that they've sold to the last hundred people in the last few weeks or months. Um, because it's like they're just beggars. Um, they're being carried through life through other expats in giving all, oh, well, I have to do this. I haven't got any money. I'm trying to get back to the home or I'm... I can't afford my rent this month. I really had a problem with my pension coming through. Whatever it is, I, unless you actually know them, don't waste your time on them. Because a lot of the time, this is why they target people in things like, um, in Cebu, it's places like French Baker, McDonald's, etc. They're looking for expats that are new to new arrivals or don't want to be bugged while they're eating. You know, for example, waiting for somebody to um, come and meet up with them. And they'll be like, oh, yeah. And they know there's a good chance they'll get a few hundred pesos out of that person um, or even more just because you want to get rid of them. Personally, I say don't help them. They're, A, they're not often needing any help. And I think there was a guy in Cebu. Several people mentioned this guy a while back because uh, they'd seen him around where he's actually with his girlfriend. He's pretending like life's... Uh, hard luck story and um, trying to sell it to expats, you know, how bad life is and he's got no money and all this and he walks off with his girlfriend after you've given him some money they're doing it as a business um, they're just beggars um, but at the same time I, they're not your problem, in fact they shouldn't even be doing it in the Philippines they're not doing it because they're financially broke either. A lot of the time it's just easy money because new expats arrive in the Philippines and you're an easy target. You look from pe for people from the same country. This is why they'll go, oh, I've just had this happen. My, or, yeah, my, uh, I've got to get to, uh, say you're in Bohol, uh, in Cebu, I've got to get to Bohol um, because my um, wife's mother's just died or something it's all this nonsense now some of them they picked up off the filipino community and some but at the end of the day their trait is they're still bums their chances um people are quite happy to parasite and live off other people uh personally i recommend don't help with them in the hope that they all eventually leave and because this is the thing like with even philippine begging if people can see there's more money to be made, then you end up with more beggars. It may sound a bit bizarre, but it's true. If, you, if you've got, for example, um, Cebu, Minglinia has a lot of people at the dump site from Leyte, and they're like going through the crap. It's an industry. Because once some some person's managed to make a living off it, somebody else joins them, and then another family joins, and another family joins. Because if it can offer a better life than they've already got, then it will just continue to grow. And this is why this begging thing is working quite well for some people. Because the average wage in the Philippines is about, in Cebu, I think it's about 6,000 pesos a month, or used to be. So if they can bum 500 pesos off a expat that's just arrived, or even a tourist that's there for a few weeks, that's even more likely to have spare cash, then they're laughing all the way to the bank because they'll do it to three, four people in a day. They've got nearly enough money for the month. Um, I know in Philippine uh, coin-wise it's um, enough for a month, but some of these guys live quite um, small amounts. You know, they don't need a big budget or they've got a drug habit or whatever. They're just a pain. They really are. Um, my, my best point on this is don't help them at all. They they're a burden that you don't need and the Philippines doesn't need either. All right, thanks for watching.